What's up, everybody? I wanted to share a project that I've been working on for a while with you. It's a capsule collection of a few items. It's for sale. I don't usually make things to sell, but I did, and I'm really excited about it. And even though this isn't the usual format of this channel, I felt I would be a bit remiss if I didn't share these things with you since you're engaged here and participating, and that's amazing. If you don't want to buy it, I'd still recommend watching the video because I hope that the video could help inspire you to take a project that you have all the way to Z and to think about things in a way that turns objects into more than simply what their function is, to embed deeper meaning into the things that you create. And for that, I think it's totally worth watching the video. So I'm going to shut up now and here it is. Okay, welcome to the group thread. This is a three piece collection that was supposed to go along with a pop up that I was organizing in Portland for this year's annual Specialty Coffee Association conference, but the conference got canceled because of the pandemic and it never happened. So these things just sat and I felt like it was time to take these things and bring them into the world and share them with you rather than just have them gather dust. And the theme of these items and the theme of the pop up was connection and creativity. So what we got here are three very simple items with a lot of meaning behind them. It's a reminder that there's so much magic to be had in what we usually see as mundane, that there's opportunities for connection and creativity kind of hiding behind every corner. First, we got the coffee, 12 ounces, Damien Chavez, Honduras. Coffee has obviously been this huge connector in my life. A lot of the amazing trips, people, experiences that I've had have revolved around this world of coffee. On the bag, got interpretations of two of my friends that hold different places in my life. Julia in the middle with lightning coming out of her head. She's just been one of the biggest inspirations to me ever. One of my best friends. I can't really talk about all she's done for me just because it's too long of a list. On the other side of her is DJ Impulse. DJ Impulse is one of the first friends that I forged like a really deep connection with over social media, over this weird world of electronic zaps, dings, and buzzes. And that's a reminder that things like Instagram, things like YouTube don't have to be surface level. There are opportunities for deeper connection. I'm on the other side with a hat. When you see the character with the hat, that's usually me. Up next, we've got the postcard. Although there are opportunities for connection everywhere, there's something really, really special about snail mail. There's something really special about taking time out of your day and creating something physical and sending it to someone. We all know that feeling of getting something in the mail and that feeling just hits a lot harder than getting a ding or a like or a comment on something on social. Creating that conduit for in real life connection is super amazing and it's stamped already you don't have to worry about it the stamps are different the rainbow stamp is the best one they're all the kelly ellsworth usps stamps the rainbow one's the best they're all cool though so don't be mad if you don't get the rainbow and third we have the pin now the last thing the world needs is another enamel pin but this one's interactive the theme of this pin is future friends so these are two characters that haven't met each other yet and that rainbow is the possibility of becoming future friends the possibility of future connection. Now the backing card is where things really come to life. You pull the pin off and on one side there's a little reminder on the card. It says to connect with others we must first connect with ourselves. Flip the card over and there's a place where we can write a note to ourselves. Something that we want to remember. Something important. Something that we know makes us feel the most like ourselves but is really easy to forget. So you can wear the pin as like a little badge, like a beacon of, I don't know, a beacon of what? I always think of this character as, you know, you see it out in the real world and you're like, I get you. So you can wear the pin and then take the card, write your note on it and stick it on your desk, stick it on your mirror, keep it in your pocket, put it in your wallet for this reminder, this this little thing that you know, it's a note to self, you, you get the idea. It'll all be shipped in a neat little box, US shipping only, I'm sorry, I'm just not equipped to do international, I'm just one man. And we're gonna batch ship them, so we'll take all the orders, there's not a ton of these, and then we'll ship them all at the same time so the coffee's really fresh and there's no coffee sitting in buckets or anything. From the roaster to the bag to your house, 
to your soul. I hope this little capsule inspires you to take action, to do something creative, even if you don't consider yourself to be an artist or a creative person. We all have creativity somewhere inside of us. It doesn't mean painting a picture. It doesn't always mean drawing. It doesn't mean writing a book. It can mean a lot of things. To take that and share it with the world, to share your gifts. That's the intent of this capsule. Hope you enjoy it. See y'all later. Peace.